So let's go over the differences between Facebook or Meta's Pixel versus the conversion API. By the end of this video, you will understand the differences between the two and which ones you should be using. So to note in this video, Facebook and Meta Pixel are interchangeable, but let's dive into the first section here. What is a Meta Pixel? It enables real-time tracking of various actions such as monitoring page visits, tracking conversions, so this can be purchases, form submissions, add to carts, anything along those lines. And it's also going to utilize the collected data to create custom audiences for targeted Facebook ads. Basically, it's a piece of code you're going to install on your Shopify store that's going to pass information back to Facebook on what the user did to help optimize your ads. So in terms of the drawbacks, especially with Apple's new iOS 14 update and more privacy concerns, it's much harder for pixels to go and track what potential customers and customers have done on your Shopify store. So it's reduced accuracy in measuring users' time spent, challenging and cross-device conversions, and it can potentially lead to a lot of missed or inaccurate measurements. Now, if we take a look at what is the conversion API, it's gonna be a server-side integration. So rather than being a web browser cookie or pixel or piece of code, this server side is going to enhance reliability by sharing events without being affected by ad blockers or browser restrictions. And so it's gonna be better at tracking than traditional conversion methods. And so for the benefits of this, it's gonna give you enhanced precision as well as greater control over the collected data types. And so when that first iOS 14 update came out, many advertising companies and many advertisers saw a huge decrease in performance from Facebook and Meta ads. Especially over the past year, a lot of this has been remedied and that's with Facebook's conversion API, as it's gonna use server-side events to help increase the accuracy and tracking of all the data. In terms of the drawbacks for the conversion API, it's mainly that it's more technical to set up. Now, in terms of what you should be using, Facebook does recommend that you use one or the other. If we go to Meta's site here and we take a look at their own article, they state that if you connect website activity using both the Pixel and the conversion API, they may receive the same events from the browser and the server. If they know that the events are the same and therefore redundant, they can keep one and discard the rest. So they're gonna provide some deduplication there. However, they are going to recommend that you deduplicate your events as best practice. So if you share the same events from both the browser and the server, deduplication is necessary. So overall, the Metapixel and the Facebook conversion API are two different methods of tracking results from the web-based injected code to sending server-side events. It's important to note that if you have both installed, it can lead to a duplication, although Facebook is going to try to deduplicate those results as well. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of your profit. You have your cost secrets sold, your ad spend across different platforms, your transaction fees, your refunds, and more. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in. It's the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for, and it's gonna give you real-time calculations along with a ton of different details, analytics, and charts, so you can make smarter business decisions for your store. There's a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself, there's a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. You can also find it on the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. It is generally considered that the Facebook conversion API is more accurate than the Facebook pixel as it's not going to have to deal with any blockers or anything along those lines. So for you, it's going to really depend how much more time you want to send setting up the conversion API, how much you're spending on Facebook ads and how accurate your pixel is currently tracking for you. There are also many Shopify stores that use other tools such as Triple Whale or high rows. These have their own pixels, which can also track different ad spend. But this is going to conclude the video here. Let me know in the comments which one you're planning to use. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.